Gotham episode 13. Welcome back, Jim Gordon. Honestly, I gotta say, I think this was probably my favorite episode. Like, I don't know what it was. It had really great highs, and the lows weren't, like, bad lows. They were just, like, little moments here and there with some of the extra characters where we got to see little minor moments that may not be, like, big parts of the story. Some stuff, or most of it actually is. The only stuff that really isn't is hopefully the Enigma stuff, and I'll kind of get to that. But this was a really great episode. It had... You know, Mooney coming back, which I thought was great. I thought the whole episode, for the most part at least, was going to be her um, kind of dealing with the torture. And we'd get to see her really, like, take on all this pain and stuff and just kind of stick through it and be taunting and stuff to the guy who's basically torturing her. But that ended really quick. And even that was a great scene. Like, the part where he, like, took the bag off her head and she instantly kind of came back because she was doing, like, little breaths and stuff. I thought that was really cool. And... Butcher was really awesome in this episode. Like, he broke out, and then he went and he got her. And the part when he rescued her and he beat the guy up, she kind of had to take some real deep breaths because he was about to, like, take out her knee, and she was freaked out. There wasn't anything she could do to, like, just, you know, stop that one. So I thought that was pretty cool. Like, she was really freaked out. There was no, you know, subtle torture or anything like that. She was about to really be broken, and I thought that was a cool little moment. And then... You know, going from there when she attacks Penguin, that, of course, I've, you know, once she escaped, it was like, of course, she's going to go and she's going to deal with Penguin. Um, you know, it doesn't happen in this episode like I thought. I wasn't sure exactly how things were going to go down, but she doesn't end up taking Penguin down. She freaks him out a little bit, and then she get, she escapes. Butch, I have to assume, is still alive. I don't think they killed him off just yet. Um, oddly enough, I want him to live. I like his character. I think he's cool. He's, like, the really loyal, you know, right-hand man. So I actually really like his character because he's really loyal to Fish. He's, you know, he's always trying to look out for her. And it's like, you know, we got to head out of here because the whole city's going to be looking for us. And even when Mooney's like, you know, I'm not going anywhere no matter who's looking for us. I want to kill Penguin. He stuck right by her. And he, he was like, all right. And he went with her. And it, I thought that was really cool, like, for his character. He sticks to his guns. He helped her out at the end. And he was like, you know... I'll distract him, which I don't know why he did that. Like, honestly, I feel like he could have just easily hopped out the window, too. But I guess it's, it was just to help her escape, of course, because they would have known they went out the window. But I really loved that moment, just all the Penguin stuff. We got to see his mother again as well. And that, I thought, was pretty funny. Like, her just being silly and, like, loving everything and stuff like that was pretty cool. And then I think one of the best things that happened in this episode was Jim going to penguin in this one and it seemed like it was going to be simple he had like a really tough case he couldn't get one of the cops he knew was most likely guilty and him being jim gordon he's already got a bunch of enemies inside the gcpd as is and he was basically doing it again i think he went after a cop before in the show but he was doing something that a lot of people were going to be against he was going up against a cop who was also protected so there are like two really big friends going up against him and he went to Penguin to try to get some answers and that led to like my favorite moment in the episode or one of them for sure and it was just the ending scene because he told Penguin like you know nobody gets hurt and then Penguin's guy just goes out and you know he has the guy's wife in the tub and stuff and he's just like holding her down with his foot and it was just crazy and like the guy goes to Jim all freaked out and he's crying well he's you know almost crying he's almost in tears and he's, like, literally on his knees begging him to leave his family out of it because he cares about them. And it was just a great scene because there was no, you know, real resolution to it. It was just Jim in the moment. Like, I ended up causing so much more harm than I expected. I just wanted a bad cop to go down. And it was like, he had a great scene. I loved when he caught the guy. And, you know, we got a couple extra cops standing behind him. And then um, the chief, she came down and she's officially stood behind him like it that was it she didn't have to worry about you know things being covered up or anything like that so that was an amazing moment i really loved that too and then you know we just have him out here and the guy's walking up to him and he's freaking out and like his face was just like i you know he had no idea that anything bad really happened and now it's just going to be with him and he's it was like that moment where it really hit him like he's officially in it now like he doesn't want to be this bad guy or even cause bad things to happen but he's connected now he's connected to the penguin he's sort of connected to um Maroni however that ends up playing out with penguin and Maroni I don't know based on that preview 
But he's connected to both of them and Falcone himself, like, from, I believe, the very first episode when they got saved. And Falcone, like, knew his dad and stuff like that. So he's really in it, and he, you know, he officially went to someone to get answers, and it kind of came back. He got the answers, he did everything the way um, he had to do it, and unfortunately, sort of the behind-the-scenes stuff, he found out by the end of this episode, and it was cool to see him deal with that, and I'm sure he'll confront Penguin um, maybe early on in the next episode. I don't know how things are going to go with that, with Penguin being, like, out in the forest and all that stuff. But I thought that was really cool, him just having this sort of distraught moment by the end. It was pretty interesting. I thought it was very, very nice. And some of the other little moments that we got, um, once again, towards the end, when Fish officially escaped, we found out that she is actually with Bullock, which I thought was pretty cool. Like, I thought that as soon as he got out the car, like, he put his jacket on her and stuff. And it was like, I didn't expect that. You know, he's he's Bullock, so he does some dirty stuff. Mooney doesn't do, like, the worst illegal stuff, I guess. It's it's a weird scale, but, like, she's, like, on the lower level of illegal stuff. She doesn't get too hardcore into it, I guess. And to find out that they were together, that was actually pretty cool. And now she's going to be off for a little while. And it was kind of interesting because now that she's going off, the first thing I thought of when she was like, I got to leave Gotham, the first thing I thought of was Penguin. And I thought that was actually really cool because they are, like, the big rivals and you know, she's going off and she's going to have to kind of change as a character and then she's going to come back to Gotham a lot like Penguin did. And who knows if she'll be stronger, like who knows how long she'll of course last in the series in general because, you know, eventually Penguin becomes the Penguin so Fish isn't around at some point in the storyline. But I I think that's really cool. Like they didn't kill her off, which is good because I liked her character. I know... I don't know how people still feel about a character if they still think she's over the top. Um, I felt that way, like, really early on. And I think it was, like, maybe the second episode and, like, the fifth or something. There were, like, two episodes where she just seemed, like, incredibly over the top. But since then, I think it's just been really good and she's been incredibly serious. And she's kind of just been going along, trying to do what she wants to do. And now that she's basically having to flee Gotham for a little bit at least... I'm definitely excited to see what they do when they bring her character back and how Penguin's going to grow because with her gone and Butch being taken by Zaz and his girls, Penguin is really going to be in the clear for now. So he's going to grow. He's going to presumably take out Maroni and do whatever is going to happen in the in the next episode, which I'm really excited to see. But, you know, I thought that was really great. I thought it was really well done. It was good to see that Butch didn't get killed off, at least not in this episode. I'm not 100% sure how long he's going to last, but it was nice that he wasn't just killed off because, I, like I said, I like his character. I like Mooney, so it was cool to see her actually survive. It would have been cool to see if they both got killed off. It would have been crazy to see that, but I think both their characters are going to have some pretty interesting moments in you know future episodes. And then we have you know kind of like the main story, like I said, I enjoyed that. I thought it was pretty cool, Jim. Like, you know, the episode is called Welcome Back, Jim Gordon. And so he's in it, and it's just like his first real mission back, and he's just got tons of issues going on, having to deal with dirty cops. Um, he, like, arrests the one cop, and then he goes and finds him again, and then they both, him and uh, Bullock, just get beat up and stuff. And then, you know, it ends, like, you know, I kind of already talked about it, really. There wasn't too much to say. Like, he had the big moments, and it led to other, you know, big moments. But it, for me, that whole thing had, like, the very end scenes with Jim were, like, the best parts of that. He got the cop. He got real support from some of the other cops that were around him. And then, like, just the sort of distress scene where it was like, I don't know what the heck you're talking about, about your family and your wife and stuff. And then it just clicked in his head. And I really can't wait to see how they play that in the next two episodes. And then we have, like, the little moments that happen throughout that you know, one is going to be a really big thing, and that's, of course, Bruce um, trying to find out what happened with his parents. And I enjoyed Bruce's scenes. It was good to see Bruce in this episode. Um, admittedly, I completely didn't recognize the fact that he was even missing in the last two because I've really been enjoying uh, what they've been doing with, like, the mob stuff and, like, when they had the electrocutioner and stuff. I thought he was a cool villain. So I didn't even realize, like, the Bruce storyline was kind of missing. And it's, you know, the show is mostly focused on Jim anyway, so that's kind of the point. But it was good to see Bruce. It was good to see Alfred. Um, 
all of Alfred's lines are always hilarious. He was just great in this episode. Uh, the end of the episode, or the end of, like, their storyline was cool with Alfred telling him, or kind of, like, toughening him up, like, you, I'm gonna, you know, we can either clean this up or you can keep crying about, you know, your broken little childhood dreams. And Bruce kind of stepped up, like, like, he just learned, like, I can't just be sad about this little crap. I'll find something else, I'll move on, I'll make this work how I need to make it work. So, I enjoyed that. Uh, Selena kind of breaking his heart, I guess. I don't, I don't really know how to describe that, but that was kind of mean. Like, just, eh, like, he, living in a mansion is better than living on the street. That's all there is to it. Like, there's, <laughs> there was no question. She got mad at him, and then blah, blah, blah. Irrelevant. She'll still be in the series. I'm not sure exactly how, but she'll still be in it. She'll probably come back, and they'll sort of work things out, or she'll be in another case, possibly. Who knows? But, I thought that was okay. The, like, Alfred saying his lines was probably my favorite part of that because I love this version of Alfred. He's really funny. Um, like, the first really funny line was when he was talking about you have all your life to get um, whipped by females and stuff like that. So I enjoyed that. Um, the way he was looking at Ivy was really funny when she was, like, 20 bucks. It was like, I'm just going to slap this little girl in the street right now. So that was funny. And then, you know, like, how he helped Bruce kind of move on. Like, hey, it sucks, but you have more important stuff to deal with so you need to just move on and do that in your own way so i enjoyed that and then like the last little storyline was with the riddler and that was actually really cool because we had some hints that the girl actually liked them i can't think of her name right now unfortunately but we had like little hints like she smiled at the riddle that he gave her with the bullet in the cupcake and in this episode she, you know she enjoyed the note and what I was thinking when he gave her that note, I figured this could be the storyline that leads to him going crazy. Like, he likes this girl, he's really falling for her, and she's sort of showing signs that she's kind of moving past him being, like, a really weird character. And then if she, like, broke his heart or, you know, something happened where he got beat up by, like, one of the other cops because they were making fun of him, and you know, they thought she was being annoyed or whatever, and they just beat him up for whatever reason, that could make him snap, and that's when he starts, like, killing people off or something crazy. So, I enjoyed this storyline, because I never thought of that. I thought it was just, we get to see Enigma kind of doing his thing and being weird and silly. But this could be the storyline. It might take a long time for that to happen. They could actually end up together, and then something happens, and that's kind of how he snaps in the series. But I enjoyed it. It was just like the possibility of this being how he snaps. Like he falls for this girl and it kind of goes up like, oh, this, you know, like he said in this episode, there's still hope. And then that hope keeps rising and then something happens and it's completely destroyed. I would love to see if that's how it plays out. Like however it's going to go, I think this is how he's going to snap. Like it's little right now. It's just him having a crush on someone, but that could evolve. And then if he gets destroyed, he, you know, he becomes the Riddler and starts, you know, killing people off with weird uh, riddles. But I love the episode. Sorry this is, like, a long review. Yeah, it's pretty long for Gotham, I think. I normally have, like, smaller reviews. But I really love this episode. Like I said, I think it was my favorite. A lot of great points. Really excited for the next two episodes since it's, like, a two-part thing. Um, I believe the villains, based on the preview, one guy had, like, a mask of a pig. I believe it's like the pig and the toad guy. I don't know their actual names, but they were in like the last Batman cartoon that came on. And I'm excited for that. You know, it's a two-part thing, so I have to assume they aren't going to figure out the um, main issue within the first part of the episode. And I have to assume the second main story is going to be, of course, what's happening uh, with Penguin and Maroney. Because obviously Maroney knows after the last episode, Penguin's been working with Falcone the whole time and stuff is just really going to get crazy so i'm excited for that but i would love to know what you guys thought about this episode so please comment below let me know um favorite parts these favorite parts and i guess what was your favorite part about this episode and also what do you guys think about mooney leaving and how that kind of ties in with penguin having left in really the very first episode and then you know he of course came like right back in episode three i think but how do you guys think that really ties in with his storyline and you know what do you guys want to see from her storyline as well so please comment below let me know and thanks for watching